So you've got yourself a defender and you wanna know how to bring down the revs at high speeds, this is the video you're gonna to wanna to watch. So guys, this video is only applicable if you have a Defender with an R380 gearbox. Now that is a five-speed gearbox that you'll find in a TDI or a TD5. Now the vehicle in question behind us is a Land Rover Defender 90 with a TD5 fitted. Now, predominantly this is gonna be a video, I suppose, aimed at TD5 owners. A uh, very common issue is at about 70 miles an hour, even potentially 80 miles an hour, the TD5 engine is barreling away and you're sitting at around three to three and a half thousand RPM. Now that is particularly uncomfortable and it would be nice to have those, uh, those revs brought down so you can cruise comfortably and keep up with today's modern traffic. And that is what I've got right in front of me here. Now we have an upgrade from Synchro gearboxes. Now you can also buy it from Ashcroft, etc. And you can actually buy a gearbox already built up with the fifth gear changed out for a higher ratio from a V8 Defender. Now this is a 5% taller gear and it will significantly reduce the RPMs when you're cruising along but that doesn't stop there. So to complement the fifth gear, we also have sent straight from Ashcroft, uh, the LT230 gearbox, the transfer box, which we would find in the Defender, but we've dropped the ratio down to a Discovery 1 ratio. Now it's going from 1.410 to 1.211, I believe. There is a sticker somewhere. 1.211. Now the idea of this is with the gearbox, uh, with the transfer box with a lower ratio, and with the gearbox with a higher ratio, we should be able to significantly drop the RPM when we're cruising at around 70 miles an hour. Let's not waste any time, let's fit this stuff. We'll go out on a road test and see how it's feeling. Shoot. So rock, one, paper, scissors. Two, three. rock, paper, scissors, whoever wins gets to do the mechanical side because right. it's hot inside yeah. and you're fiddling around. Right. Wait, okay, so we're going to go one, two, boom. One, two, and then on three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Wait, 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 wait. I'm not mentally prepared for this. Wait, 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 I need to think about my options here. Okay. Well, what's your favourite colour? Red. Rock, <laughs> paper, scissors. Oh, what are you doing? You, you changed from a rock to paper. paper. Right, right, one I more. I usually go on. do it on four. Right, you want to do four then? Yeah, we go so rock, one, two, paper, three, three shoot. Okay, you ready? Rock, one, paper, two, three, 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 shoot. Oh, rock, paper, three, scissors, three, shoot. Oh, rock, two, paper, three. scissors, shoot. Ah do the mechanical side. That's whether that's a win or not, I'm not sure. But it's warm in here, so you do the inside with a little seven mil bolt. Oh. I'll crack on with the exhaust cross member.
So guys, that is our transfer box and our gearbox removed. Pretty painless stuff. I'm not, I didn't show you in, in all the detail I know I have done previously. Uh, if you are interested, I will leave a link in the description below where there's a bit more detail on how to remove the gearbox from one of these. But we are now at our workstation, if you will. We have cleaned the gearbox because typically it is just covered in engine oil and all sorts. So we have just given it a quick steam. Uh, the aim of this is not to do a full gearbox rebuild. We are simply changing the fifth gear for a taller version. So we have given a good steam clean. And the, the area we're interested in is the extension housing on the back here. And that is where our fifth gear set is. And uh, there's nothing more but to get stuck into it. I have got the genuine Land Rover R380 overhaul guide here. So, uh, this is how Land Rover do it, and this is how I'll be doing it. So all we're gonna do is have a quick read up on the instructions, make sure we know what we're doing, and we'll go from there and we'll get this fifth gear fitted. So guys, we've just installed our V8 fifth gear, and it's a pretty straightforward job to be fair. You do have to require a, a few specialist tools, but uh, it is essentially just a, a modified two-legged puller, I suppose. Uh, but you simply just pull the gears out, pop them in, reseal the casing, pop it all back together, talking it to the correct factory specifications, uh, which we have completed. It is now time to put the gearbox, refit that to the vehicle, fill a new transfer box, and see how this vehicle feels, and hopefully we've lowered those revs.
looks fitted and our new transfer box with our V8 fifth gear and feels wonderful. You might have actually seen in the video, we did actually fit some comfortable springs and a custom exhaust at the same time. But it's feeling great. Fifth gear, the revs are super low now. At 35 mile an hour, it's almost struggling to pull that gear. It'll be interesting to see when we get up to 70 miles an hour. Previously, we were floating around the 3000 RPM mark. It'll be interesting to see what it says now. So let's get up to 70, see what it says. Speed. that is fifth gear we've almost dropped a thousand rpm it's feeling wonderful with these lower ratios much more usable on the road really really nice actually guys i hope you've loved this video tell us what you think in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe give us a follow on instagram which is at juice motors we'll see you guys for the next one